Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profitic Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress shortcodes API. In this video session guys, we will discuss about bad versus good shortcode writing skills as well as we will make a YouTube video player using our shortcode skills. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel, then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions of this playlist to get the clear vision about WordPress shortcodes API. So in the first section guys we have to discuss about the bad versus good shortcode writing skills okay so just go to editor and now guys if this is your first video session then I strongly suggest you to go to YouTube and now this is the playlist that we have seen in this WordPress shortcodes API you can watch our previous video sessions from this playlist okay so just go to editor and now we are going to make some of the shortcodes that we have studied so far okay so first of all we have to make called add shortcode this is the function we need to use to define our shortcode and let's say that OWT shortcode part 1 okay and we have to define the callback function for this course of shortcodes so let's say that WPL OWT call statement okay so just copy this function name and now going I'm going to define this function right here so let's say that function and this is the function name and just I'm going to return a simple statement for this shortcode so let's say that echo this is my first shortcode created okay so if we save this file just copy this shortcode that we have created go to administrator panel and this is the WordPress setup okay just click on Perl plugin section let me check that the OWT shortcode plugin actually this is the plugin where actually we are working on let me check that it is active or not so it is currently active so just go to pages section and now inside this pages section let's create a page called video 4 okay I'm going to paste that shortcode that we have created something like that okay so just click on publish and now if we visit the permalink of this front-end page so this is the statement that we have written so successfully guys we got our statement we got our output of the shortcode that we have defined inside this plugin but this is not a good approach to define our shortcode basically we have to return this statement instead of this echo okay so this is not a good practice okay so basically guys if we want to retrieve or we want to give any statement for this shortcode then we need to actually return of this statement instead of that print r or let's say echo okay so just make comment of that if you want to print this output as our return statements so we have to say something called it's not a good practice let's say not a good practice okay this is not a good practice what will be the good practice let's say return and this is the statement okay so while calling this function while calling this function by this shortcode we need to return of this statement instead of this echo statement okay so if we save this file again go to browser refresh that page and as you can see that the output will be same and also guys if you are thinking that why it it is a good practice so let me tell you that most of the cases guy I, I has actually seen that most of the dev developers actually do this type of coding where no error occurs but if they use something like that echo print r or print a statement for this statement then in that specific condition they actually get several times error okay so to remove the error from our sort code the function contains only the return statement all the functionality that we want to do inside this function we can do right here but now finally we have to return the result of that function okay so let's say that if we just make comment of that and we have to let's say that we have to return the multi lines of a statement to our output so what we will do so let's say that a string is a variable and let's say that this is first string part okay and now we need to concatenate with this variable to our other string so let's say string concatenation operator and let's say that this is our second part okay so now we have to return this statement so finally what we will do return let's say string okay so finally we have to return this string so successfully we have created a variable we have concatenated this variable with the another value 
okay and now let's make some space here and now we have to return that variable so if you go to browser reload this page and now as you can see that this is first part and this is the second part so by the help of guys good approach we had seen that how can we make return of DJ statements if you use in your application about this echo then might be it will be useful for you but as I told you guys that this is not the good approach to use the sort codes in our WordPress applications okay so to remove the error from our sort codes we need to use the return statements inside our callback functions okay so basically we can say that this is a good approach this is a good approach okay so successfully guys we have seen our the first part of this plugin okay first part of this sort code so let me tell you about that how can we actually include a file where we will do some type of coding okay so let's make another sort code let's say add sort code let's say OWT sort code part 2 okay let's make a callback function for that let's WPL OWT call file okay this is the callback function we need to define for this sort code okay so let's say that function this is the function name and now in this function name guys I am going to define a file means we are going to include a file inside this function and file is right inside this views folder so if you click on views folder and this is the file that I have made called OWT sort code panel.php so if we open this file right now this file is empty okay so we need to include this file inside this callback function so how can we include this file so let's say include once we have several methods to include this file include and include once also okay so let's use include once and first of all we have to go to this folder right here this is the sort code folder that we have made for this application so first we need to go inside this plugin folder okay so for that let's say plugin tir path and we need to pass the file is the parameter okay and now in the next we need to go inside this views folder because this will give you the plugin path and now inside this plugin we need to go inside this views folder okay if we go to the directory structure just go to directory structure and now inside this plugins folder we need to go inside this OWT sort codes folder okay so just let's say that if I copy this OWT sort code name or instead of this folder we have to go inside this views folder okay so just copy this views name go to editor and let's type views inside this views file we have to go inside this OWT sortcode panel.php so let's say that OWT sortcode panel.php so this is the file that we have included inside this callback function so just go to file and let's say that within this h4 tag let's say that this is file call by sortcode okay so if we save this file and now we will see that actually we have connected this file right here inside this callback function so while calling this sort code this file is included within this callback okay and now successfully we can get this message to our browser okay so just make copy this sort code if you copy that go to browser administrator panel and let's remove this sort code or let's say that right here so just paste it here and now if we save this file go to frontend section reload this page and now as we can see that this is the statement that we have written inside the file but one of the most important thing guys that you can observe is that if you go to administrator panel this is the second sort code that we have included which basically prints a statement we have written inside this file but remember this is the second sort code right now behind this first sort code but in the output we will see that the file is executing first and the second is executing second why because in order to precedence in order to according to their order this will execute first but this is executing first why this is called a logical error this is why guys these approaches are not good to use okay so for a perfect plugin developer guys you need to know about the correct way to use the sort codes okay so first of all how can we correct this error how can we correct this error because as we know that we have pasted this sort code underneath of this I mean sort code one so we want the output expected output so it should be something like that that this statement should appear underneath of this statement 
okay means this is our first statement this is our first statement and now this will be our second statement so how can we correct that just go to editor and let's say that we need to include a buffer we need to include the buffer to include this file okay so the syntax of that buffer is that first we need to start the buffer so obey start is the function to start the buffer okay and now include the file okay this is the file that we have included because this file contains all of our code okay so just go to editor and let's say that file let's say file content equal to ob get contents okay this is the function guys this is the php function these all are php functions okay so this is very basic of php function which basically first of all we have started our buffer so let's say that start buffer okay here we are reading the content reading content from buffer so successfully we have started buffer we have stored all the contents of this file all the contents of this file to a buffer and finally we are reading all the contents from this buffer to this variable so finally this variable contains all the outputs of this file okay so basically what next we have to do we have to clean the buffer okay so let's say that ob in clean this is the function we need to use to clean our buffer and finally we need to use called return file content okay so basically guys we can see that these are the steps that we have to do for the good approach firstly we have to include the file before that we need to start our buffer okay basically all the files if you include to our callback function these all files actually return their output by using buffer okay so first of all we need to start the buffer we need to include the file because this file contains all of our code so this file will be stored to our buffer and the buffer contains we can read by the function called ob get contents so by using this function guys we stored all the contents of the buffer inside this variable and finally we need to return this variable by using return statement and finally we to clean our buffer okay so let's say that finally we have cleaned that okay clean the buffer okay so if we save this file go to browser reload this page and now as we can see that the first sort code that we have written in order is executing first and this is the second sort code so why this is our second statement okay this is called the guys good approach to use sort codes in case of file so first basically for a simple statement we can use a return statement for returning that variable okay if we are using a file to our callback function we need to store all the means file contains inside our buffer and finally we need to return all the contents of the buffer into our output okay so I think guys at this stage we understood about the clear concept about what is the bad approach and what is the good approach to use our sort codes okay so just back to our slides and let's make a YouTube video player sort code okay so for that just go to our plugin and let's say that add sort code and let's say that OWT YouTube player okay and finally we need to define a callback function so let's say that o w p l o w t youtube player okay so just make copy of this function we need to define this function so let's say that function function name and this is the function okay so inside this function guys first of all we have to make a file inside this views folder okay so let's make a file called o w t player dot php okay successfully guys we have created our file so just get rid of that and now we have to create a youtube player okay so just close this file so let's include the file let's include once so before that guys we need to follow the good approach so first of all we have to start the buffer so let's ob start and finally at lastly we have to actually clean the buffer so ob and clean is the function and now we have to include the file called include once Okay, so let's include that file called plugin dir path. This is the WordPress function. Okay, and now we have to pass called views folder. Inside this views folder, we need to go to OWT player.php file. Okay, so finally we have to means stored, we have stored all of the contents inside the buffer. Finally, we need to read that buffer. Okay, so let's say that player content equal to ob get contents 
okay so this is the function we need to use to read the buffer content and finally we have cleaned out successfully and finally we have to return this variable okay so let's return that so let's return player content okay so if you go to this file let's say a statement simple statements let's say that online web tutor YouTube player okay so if we copy this short code this is the short code that we have made for this player so just make copy of this go to browser let's make a page so just get rid of all these short codes that we have made and paste within this okay so if we save that reload this front end page and now we are getting our output so in the next section guys we have to define our iframe inside this file okay so for playing a YouTube video guys we are going to use a iframe okay so for that let's say iframe tag this is a HTML element so let's say iframe okay inside this iframe we need to pass some of the attributes so first of all let's say height height is something called 400 pixel okay let's say width width equal to let's say 500 pixel uh, finally we need to pass the SRC this SRC contains the URL of the video basically on the behalf of this SRC on the behalf of this URL iframe will play that video okay so if we save this file just save this file go to browser reload this page and now as we can see that we have a iframe okay so what we will do next we are going to remove the frame border so let's say frame border equal to zero okay so if we save this just reload that and now as we can see that the frame border has gone okay so let's re means reduce the size let's say 300 pixel okay let's pass the URL in this SRC tag so how can we pass that so first of all let's say HTTPS because we are going to play the YouTube video and in the second you need to pass called www dot YouTube dot com slash embed and slash here is the video ID okay so how can we find our video ID so for that just go to YouTube and this is our channel okay so just click on this playlist and now as we can see that if we click on any of the video just click on that as you can see that this is the video ID means watch percent symbol and let's say V equal to this is the video ID okay so if I copy this URL just make copy of that go back here okay again go to our slides let's paste it here and this is the YouTube URL that we have copied okay so youtube.com slash watch this is question mark and now V equal to something like that okay so before am person symbol this is called video ID okay so if we copy that go to editor and just paste right here okay so if we save this and reload our front end page and now as we can see that that video has been embedded to our WordPress page by the help of our custom sort code so just click here to play this video and as we can see that there are YouTube controls as well so if we cl click on that and now as we can see that full screen is unavailable so how can we make available okay so just go to editor first of all let's pause that let's pause that just go to editor and let's say that we need to allow full screen okay so let's say that allow full screen allow full screen is the attribute of iframe guys to allow full screen so just pass one or just remove that here okay All, only allow screen is okay okay so allow full screen basically what this attribute will do just go to editor sorry browser reload this page and now if I play this video just click on this icon and now as we can see that the video has been now full so just close that so successfully guys we have embedded our allow full screen control okay which basically gives us the means to apply this video session or to run this video session to play this video session to our full screen and also guys if I reload this page just reload this page so after loading this page as you can see that the video is at the pause state it is not playing auto means autoplay is right now is false so how can we actually enable our autoplay 
okay so for that just pass question mark here we need to pass question mark into this src let's say that auto play equal to 1 so bypassing auto play equal to 1 to this url actually it will play the video automatically so if we reload this page once we reload that as we can see that the video is playing now automatically without clicking on the play button okay and also guys one more thing that we can observe is that all the controls of this YouTube controls are enabled right now so how can we hide or disable all the controls from our YouTube player okay so just go to editor so to disable that we need to pass ampersand symbol to concatenate our query string variable and let's say controls equal to 0 okay by default it is 1 Okay, so if we save that bypassing controls equal to zero means we have we are going to disable or hide our YouTube controls player controls so just save this file reload this section we can see that now all the buttons actually are hidden okay so just go to editor let's change to zero okay so if reload that and now as we can see that video is at the pause state but now there is no controls of YouTube okay so successfully guys these are the settings these are the settings by the help of that we can make our video player okay so let's make all these variables all these attributes dynamically to pass from our short codes so how can we make that so basically what we need from the user we need the video ID we need the controls like autoplay and controls equal to zero so first of all we have to pass the dynamic value for default value okay so just go to plugin main file and we are going to define some of the parameters as the default attributes okay so let's say that attributes inside this we are going to read the user variables okay so let's set att attributes equal to sort code edts is the function guys which basically used to define our default values okay inside that we are going to pass an array and finally in the second parameter we are going to assign this variable so just make copy of that and paste it here okay we haven't copied so just make copy of that and paste it here okay so successfully so let's make default values of some parameters that is something called autoplay just make copy of that go here and let's say that autoplay equal to one sorry zero this is the default value and for let's say controls let's say controls by default we want to enable or let's say so all the YouTube controls so let's say controls equal to one okay so these are the default parameters that we have given okay and for the video ID let's say video ID and let's say only ID basically it contains the blank value okay so just go to w2 player before that let's copy this attributes and now we have made these are now dynamic okay so we need to change by this ID so just remove that and let's say that within this double quotes or just remove that inside this PHP code let's say that echo attributes and now we have to pass the ID so this is the ID that we are reading as a video ID so just make copy of that and pass inside this attributes okay so successfully just make copy of that and the for controls and autoplay we need to do the same thing okay so just get rid of this static value paste here and let's say that for the autoplay just make copy of this key and right now pass here okay so we are reading the dynamic value that actually user will pass if user will not pass then this default value will be read okay so just make copy again sort code just replace this controls here Okay. and finally we need to change the key something called control so just make copy of that and paste it here okay so successfully how many attributes that we have changed if I let's press enter enter again SRC uh, within this SRC we have made the dynamic video ID dynamic autoplay condition and the dynamic means control section as well frame border is 0 this is the attribute of iframe allow full screen we want okay so these are the things that we have to save just go to plugin main file and let's make some of the default values for this ID section as well okay so if you go to slides and this is the ID that we have made copy and this is another link guys that I have copied from the YouTube okay so just copy this first ID of this video go to editor and paste here as the default value 
okay so successfully we are not going to pass any of the parameters for this sort code so successfully it will read all these default values okay and it will put inside this iframe okay so just make copy of this OWT player okay so just make copy of that go to administrator panel and successfully we have placed without any attributes so if we reload this page as we can see that all the attributes are appearing so here guys we can observe our default values okay so this is the default video ID that we have passed inside this ID parameters and now auto play equal to zero we will see that video is now not auto playing okay and also if we play this video we can see that these are the YouTube controls okay so successfully we are reading each of the parameters as a default value so what will happen if we, if we will pass these parameters dynamically okay so just make copy of that auto play go to administrator panel and let's say that just lay auto play equal to 1 okay and also let's pass called controls controls equal to 0 means there is no control okay zero value and now we have to pass the ID so just make copy of that and let it, let's paste right here and now inside this ID parameter guys we need to pass the video ID so just go to slides and this is the second video that I have copied from the URL and this is the video ID that is V equal to this so just make copy of that and I'm going to paste inside this right here inside this ID okay so successfully we have made a sort code bypassing some of the parameters in the dynamic manner okay so these are the parameters called autoplay equal to 1 controls equal to 0 and ID something like that okay so if we save this file after saving this file guys what the result will be expected result will be something like that auto means video will be play automatically and there is no controls of the YouTube and the video is something like that okay so just go to front end section update this page first and now just press control F5 to refresh now as we can see that this is the video that we have retrieved called WordPress plugin data and security okay so this is the another video and now as we can see that there is no controls of YouTube and successfully video is also auto playing okay so these are guys so just go to administrator panel and let's say that auto play equal to zero okay or let's remove this auto play okay so just remove that let's update that and now if we reload that then the video will be not auto playing so just reload that okay there is some error let me check that just reload this page once more and now as we can see that we are successfully getting that video so this is the video guys that we have copied by this ID okay so successfully guys we had seen that how can we make our YouTube player with a sort code okay so basically guys we have discussed about the two topics in this video session the first topic that what will be the good and bad approach to writing our sort codes in WordPress and also we have made a YouTube player okay so successfully guys if you go to editor you have to keep in your mind something and something is what is that we need to set some of the attributes as the default parameter and now we have to return all the statement by using buffer okay you have to keep in your mind while creating any sort code which basically uses any file then you have to return that file by using sort code by using buffers okay this is the good approach of a plugin developer okay and now in this file we have written something like that this is the code that actually guys provides our video player okay so successfully guys we have seen by the help of this video session guys we actually learned about these two topics okay so if you have any query in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day